Hello, welcome to Stranded Sailor Wines. Today we're going to be making tropical fruit blend, pineapple, mango, and papaya. Sounds good. But I'm gonna, it can't be tropical fruit blend without a little bit of Florida sunshine. So I'm going to throw in a Florida orange. A little bit of twist. It's got to have a Florida orange to be tropical blend. So, what we're going to need today, we're going to need some acid blend, pectic enzyme, yeast nutrient, Camden tablets, three Camden tablets, one and a half teaspoons of yeast nutrient, one and a half teaspoons of pectic enzyme, one and a half teaspoons acid blend, one and a half teaspoons wine tannin. Tomorrow, after 24 hours, we'll add our yeast, which will be Premier Cote de Blanc. We've, I've done mixed up all the ingredients here, so I'm going to set this stuff here out of the way. Here's a copy of the the recipe, and thank, I want to give a shout out to How To Done Right for helping me out with this recipe and letting me know that coconut is not to be fermented. It can be become toxic during fermentation, so... Uh, this was supposed to be a five gallon batch. The tropical fruit blend that I bought had coconut in it and I went through and by hand and removed all the coconut which was white so it was easily to see. So instead of a five gallon batch, this will be a three gallon batch today. But today we're gonna to be making tropical fruit blend, pineapple, mango, and papaya with a dash of orange. All right, I hope everybody enjoys this. So let's get started. I'm going to take my, everything's been sanitized with star sand. Right here, let me add in my orange. I'm going to just leave the chunks of orange. Put it in in chunks and we're going to mash it up with the potato masher. And this has been sitting in this pot since yesterday defrosting. So it should be easy to mash up. You see I got my nice peach shirt on today. I've been looking forward to making... Tropical blend. I thought this would be a nice refreshing drink for some time this spring when everybody's looking forward to the sun coming back. Amen. We're going to mash this up. I've already dissolved 13 and a half cups of sugar. It's sitting in the pot cooling down the room temperature so that I can add it back into the carboy. You don't want to add it too too hot because it could damage the carboy. We're going to mash this around here. Get it mixed up real good. Oh, this smells divine. Yeah, this should be a wonderful batch this spring when the sun's coming back out and everybody's getting spring fever. They're ready to go to the lake or to the beach. And they want a nice, refreshing wine, something that, like a wine cooler, something that they enjoy the afternoon. This right here is it, Tropical Blend. Should be a nice, refreshing flavor. Now this was frozen to start with. Like I said, I've been had it sitting out for 24 hours. Well, it's been sitting in the refrigerator thawing out. 
But it's a mixture of pineapple, mango, papaya, and I just added a little spice of Florida orange. Like I said, how can you have tropical blend without a little bit of orange? Okay, I think that's mixed up pretty good. Let's pull the carboy down here. I'm going to start by adding my ingredients. Pour my ingredients into the carboy. And I'm going to rinse it. Rinse my... Measuring cup and make sure I get all these ingredients in here. Now the three Camden tablets basically works to sterilize all the fruit to start with. Takes all the natural yeast and stuff out of the fruit. So that's why you want to let it set for 24 hours before you add your add to the yeast. Now I'm going to set the bag down inside of here. And what I like to do is I like to take a big rubber band and put it around the top top here because if you don't when you start adding adding the fruits it'll all fall straight to the bottom because this bag gets pretty heavy. And my spoon, where'd my spoon go? There's my spoon. Grab my big hefty spoon and I'm going to start spooning this in. Like I said, I want to give a shout out to How To Done Right for helping me out with this recipe. Check their channel out. Give them a subscribe. They were very helpful with helping me with this recipe because my recipe book don't include all the different recipes. It's Kind of a limited recipe book. But they were very helpful. And moral to the story, if you don't know, don't be afraid to ask somebody. The only dumb question is the one question you didn't ask. Now I'm going to add all this stuff in here. This smells good. I about like to have a bowl full of it. This will set in the primary fermenter. Tomorrow I will add the, the yeast to it. And it should take 7 to 14 days during the primary fermentation. And then after that it will be transferred into secondary fermentation. This smells wonderful. And I have been snacking on it a little bit. It's hard not to when you go to the refrigerator and there's a whole bowl full of pineapple and mango and papaya sitting there in front of you. I thought this would be a different batch from my muscadines and my blackberries. Now I'm about got this down so I can turn it up here edgewise like this and scoop it in. Just try not to make a big mess out of it. Add a little hot water to make sure I get all the juices out of here. First, I want to take my rubber band off. Ooh, that's a heavy bag. Pull it up here. I like to twist it up.
where I can tie it into a knot where everything will stay in the bag. Got it all tied up in the knot there. Take a little hot water here. Rinse my spoon. Just make sure I get all the juice out of the pot that I can. I'm going to pour that in there. I'm going to set this out of the way. And I'm going to grab my pot full of dissolved sugar and turn this around here. There's my three gallon line. We can go a little bit above it. This is my pot of dissolved sugar. It's cooled down to room temperature. We're going to pour it right over top of the mixture. And I see I got a bunch of sugar in there that really didn't dissolve. It's basically a syrup mixture at this point. And I'm going to run hot water in here to try to get as much of this sugar out of this pot as I can. Almost done. It's already turned the water a golden color. Now I, this is a three gallon batch but with the weight of the pulp bag I can go about three and a half gallons. Like I said I gotta try to get as much of the sugar out of this pot as possible because some of it did solidify in the bottom of the pot. That's about three and a half gallons right there. Well, about three and a quarter gallons. But anyway, I didn't get all the sugar out of here. Some of it's solid in the bottom. Okay, let me pull my recipe out of the way so I don't get it wet. I don't know how much more sugar I'm going to get out of here. Let's test what we've got. Take my cylinder and my turkey baster, stick it down in here. Fill the cylinder up. That's probably enough to test it with. And I'll pull my hydrometer out. And I'm going to clean the hydrometer with star sand. And rinse it off with cold water. And let's just see what we're starting at. 
I hope that's enough fluid. Oh, that's pretty nice. That looks like about, well, it's about 1.9 1.94 it's looking like about 12% alcohol alcohol by volume as projected right now but if I jerk the bag up and down and shake around the water and stir around the water a little bit more that could change some okay I'm satisfied with that for right now, so I'm gonna put my cap on. I'm gonna put a bong on. Put some water in my airlock. Well, I should have just put a rag over it, but for right now, put an airlock on there. And I th I'm gonna thank everybody for being here and enjoying today's video. Thank you. For watching Stranded Sailor Wines. And until next time, this is Greg signing off. See you next time. Goodbye.